All right, real quick, how do you edit uh, MLV files in Adobe Premiere? you got to come to this Magic Lantern post where you can download this uh, program here and then also download and extract this here. This move to somewhere on, once it's extracted, move it to your hard drive. This just installed like a normal thing, and then it becomes invisible somewhere. Uh, I guess you launch it with the command prompt. So once I installed this, then I move this to my um, system root. Okay, that's not where I want to go. I put it right here on my root drive, right here. So there we go. It's just the small GFS. It's got these files in here. Then you run a uh, Windows S, C, N, D, press enter, that'll bring up command prompt like this. And what you'll do is you will type in C drive, the folder where we put in uh, this program here. And then so you type in the path that XE space, and then this is the drive that we want to make our files available at. So we'll come back to this. Anyway, you press enter and then it does this. And then you can go over here and you can see that uh, system computer. Okay, we have we now have a new drive here called the Dokan Z. Uh, if we would have chosen another letter here like uh, um, R or whatever letter, you can be creative maybe Z, maybe Q, and then it'll create that like this. Then once you double click in here, you'll see your MLV files. So it's essentially creating a bridge um, over to your memory card. And it's different from what happens if I went actually to the memory card here. You went inside here and you went into the whiteboarding. And you see you have the MLV files, but you can't actually edit them. All right, so then once you have that, then you can get open Adobe Premiere, and you have to come to the media browser first, and then you move, look at your Z drive, and then you hit uh, your folder here. Yes, you don't need to open that. You just click on it, and then it shows this, and then you just drag that down onto your, to your timeline, which is what I've done already here. And then you have your... Um, this is raw video file or raw frames, but it treats the image sequence as a clip, which I guess saves time versus doing it uh, the other way where you have to extract the DMVs and import them as a sequence, where you just use this um, command prompt to mount them and then uh, import them in here. And you don't have to go through the process of extracting the DMVs from the MLV. So definitely a huge time saver there.